hello students and welcome back so now we are going to talk about that how to implement or code a half header using data flow modeling we discussed about two coding styles in the previous video so using the first one that is the data flow modeling we are going to implement one of the arithmetic blocks and that is called half header so in this video we are going to talk about half header functionality data flow modeling using vivado and how to simulate using the waveforms so let us get started so half header addition is the most basic arithmetic operation as we know it is the first operation that we learned in our schools also an adder without an input carry is called the half adder so we are trying to say i am just adding a with b there is no additional carry coming from the previous stages so here two inputs are added and we are going to generate sum and carry because when you add two bits the bits can have value 0 or 1 if you add 0 with 0 you get 0 if you add 0 with 1 or 1 with 0 the output is 1 so this can be accommodated in a single bit but if you add 1 with 1 the answer is 2 you cannot represent 2 in binary using a single bit and that is why we need one more output port and that is called carry so let us have a look at the truth table so here we have four input cases there are two inputs input 1 and input 2 they can have four possible values 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 if i add 0 with 0 my sum is 0 if i add 0 with 1 or 1 with 0 the sum value is 1 but when i add 1 with 1 my answer is 2 so how do we write 2 2 is written as 1 0 that means the units place will be 0 and the next higher place will be 1 and that higher place is what we call carry so in this case the carry will be 1 in all other cases there was no need of additional bit so the carry was 0 now when we look at this truth table we can see that sum function is basically the XOR of input 1 and input 2 and carry function is AND of input 1 and input 2 that we can visualize by looking at the truth table so we can say that sum is equal to input 1 XOR input 2 and carry is equal to input 1 and input 2 so now when it comes to the coding part let us go to the xilinx vivado and do it in a live session so now we have launched vivado and there is absolutely no need to create a new project every time in one single project you can have multiple very log modules and it is advisable also so whenever you are working for a similar set of problems always work in one project so i am going to open the previous project that we were working with and not creating a new one so here we can see that the existing sources are already present there was only one very low code so now we are going to add source create a new source create file and i am going to call it half header underscore data so that i remember that this is half header using data flow modeling and then we say finish we have to name the ports a and b these are my inputs and sum and carry i am going to 
direct them as the output ports and then we click on OK. So once it is updated, a new file will be appearing in the design source. Also, a new file will appear in the simulation sources. The constraint files we have to create, they will not be auto generated. Now, very important, whenever you start working with a new Verilog module in an existing project, make sure that you select that file, right click and say set as top. Here also in the simulation, right click and say set as top. What is the meaning of this? Verilog project will always compile and check the syntax of the top module. In one project, there can be more than one modules, but only the topmost will be compiled. So this is the first thing that you have to do and please remember it. You have to set your module as top module. Now we will just double click. The code is ready like module declaration, port listing and port directions. All we need to do is assign. So we say assign sum is equal to A zor b so this is the symbol for zor assign carry is equal to a and b so that's all uh, these are the two assignments that we do we save it and now we can check the rtl schematic there is no error here and we will go and say rtl analysis and schematic here so this is going to generate the schematic so the schematic is ready and we can see a and b are the input ports a and b is going to carry a xor b is going to sum so schematic is fine let us check out the simulation as well so we go to simulation and run behavioral simulation it is going to prepare the simulation environment as per our top module. Sometime we make the mistake, we select the design source as top module, but forget to select the simulation source also as the top module. So we must make sure that in both the places we select the top module. So now A is there, B is there. So A, I'm going to select. 0, B I am going to select as 0 and run 400 nanosecond and we can see A0, B0, sum and carry both are 0. Now I am going to make B as 1. So you can say sum is 1. Now I am going to flip. I will make A as 1 and B as 0. So now this is also fine and if I make both of them as 1 then we can see sum is 0 and carry is 1. So our half adder is working fine. We have verified using the schematic as well as the simulation. So our half adder is working fine. But the advantage that we have with data flow modeling is that we don't have to solve the truth tables all the time. If we just remember the relation of input and output variables, we can use them directly. So instead of saying assign sum is equal to A or B and carry is equal to A and B, we can say assign the combination of carry comma sum. First carry because it will be on the higher priority and sum is on the lower side equal to a plus b arithmetic addition that's all and we save it if there is any error 
it will be reflected please make sure when we are concatenating these two variables we have to use the curly brackets note the square brackets note the parenthesis okay now this is done we go to the schematic and see that are we getting the same schematic that we got by writing a or b and a and b or is it going to be completely different schematic so here we got a completely different schematic a and b are the inputs and then we have rtl adder block which is inbuilt structure in the very log and it is generating two bits here you can see this is very light colored it is a net value is a and here it is 1 comma 0 that means two lines are there it is thick and those two lines are split into carry and sum carry is at index 1 sum is at index 0 so sum is lsb carry is msb now we cannot say whether this circuit is working fine or not we have to definitely check with the help of simulations so students now we learned that how to implement a half adder using data flow modeling in the next video we are going to talk about implementation of half adder using gate level modeling keep learning thank you